Hello everyone, General Obvious back with a third video on Unity and today we're going to be talking about packages. Hopefully everyone has seen the first two videos I made uh, and will catch you up to speed on this one. Now these packages are programs uh, that you import into your uh, VR World creation project and um, so they're, they're pretty important to what you're doing. Uh, the first thing you want to do is import Udon Sharp. Now Udon Sharp, um, if you're going to make a flight world, like put the SAC flight system in later on, you're going to need Udon Sharp. Uh, Udon Sharp is the compiler that is going to compile all your scripts that you're using. And we'll go over scripts later, but just know that you need Udon Sharp to do specific projects. So to to get in Udon Sharp into your uh, into your project, open up your browser, and you can type in Udon Sharp U D O N S H A R P. And the first thing that comes up is GitHub Merlin. That's what the one you want. So once you get to this screen here, you'll go over here to the right and click on latest. All right. Then you scroll down. And it tells you that you already have to have the VRC SDK, which we already do. We already imported that on the first video. So we're all set there. And then you go down here to where it says Udon Sharp Unity Package. Don't do the zipper, just uh, Unity Package. So click on that. And it'll ask you if you want to open or save. Now you can go ahead and open it like we did in the first video. And if you have your Unity project open uh, then it will automatically import it into your project but if you don't have it then what you can do is you can go ahead and save it to a folder um, that you know you know where to find it again so we'll just use our VR chat world project folder we made on the desktop in the first video and we'll go ahead and save that package to that same folder okay so we'll I'll show you how to import it into your project after we get these packages downloaded and ready to go for installation all right so close that out uh, the next package that you want to get is called VR world toolkit and I'll leave a, a link to all these description packages in, in, the, um, in the description below. So the, the first one that comes up is GitHub. So click on that. And it'll bring you to another screen. This is the VR World Toolkit. And what's nice about this toolkit is that you can set up post-processing. Well, what's, what's post-processing? -pro um, I'll talk to you about that later on, but post-processing enhances your graphics in the game, makes it more detail, clarity. Um, some people like it, some people don't, but anyway, the VR World Toolkit will allow you, by the click of a button, to set up post-processing. So go over here to where it says uh, Latest. You want to click on that, and then scroll down until you see VR World Toolkit Unity Package. Go ahead and click that. Then instead of open, we're going to save it. And it's going to go into that same folder that we have the Udon Sharp package. We'll save it to that folder. All right, so that's the second package. Now, the third package that we're going to get is called Cyan, C Y A N E M U, Cyan M U. First one on the list. Click on that. It'll bring you to another GitHub page with a sign in you. And what this does, it allows you to press play in your in your project window, um, right up here in the play button. If you press play, then you'll be able to. It'll be like you spawned into a VR chat world, and you'll be able to walk around in your project. It's pretty cool. So it's definitely a uh, software program um, package that you need to get. It's a great deal to help. So we're back at the CyanMU page. 
on the right hand side click on latest and then we're going to scroll down to unity package click on that save we'll save it in the same folder we did the others all right that's the third package that you really need now there's a fourth one which is the sac flight vehicle um, system by Sachan and if you want that in your project um, just type in SAC SACC flight SAC flight and put system on there first one on the list so we'll go back and it, it takes us to github has a lot of uh, assets and and stuff you can uh, explore it's pretty cool um, so you'll see the Sachan SAC flight and vehicles go over here to the latest which is update 1.51 and click on latest and you'll scroll down now this one here it's, it doesn't say it's in a unity package but I'll show you how to import that into your project click on the zip file you want to save it and we'll save it in the same folder VR chat world project all right so we've got all four of our packages now we'll go over the sack flight zip file at the last but I'll show you how to do uh, do the other ones here all right so you want to import those packages you want to get it all set up on your project you'll go up here to assets you click on assets and right down here it'll say import package custom package click on that and then you'll maneuver to where you uh, where you saved your files at VR chat world is what we did on the desktop uh, the first one we want to import is udon sharp do udon sharp first before you do the other ones uh, so go ahead and click on that double click on that it'll start importing it this box will come up the Im click import and the udon sharp program will start importing into your project so you can use um, and it compiles the scripts really really fast it's a really good program and plus you need it for sack flight systems and also you need it for other uh, like video players certain video players use udon sharp a lot of stuff does so get that so we're all done udon sharp is right down here it shows up in your project folder window all right the next one we're gonna import assets import package custom package we're gonna do the VR world toolkit double click that same box will come up import And then once this package gets installed, up here at the top next to VR, you'll see VR World Toolkit. It'll put a tab up here. And you can click on that. And there's where I told you about post-processing. Later on in your project, when you want to set that up, you can post-processing, set up, boom, it does it all for you. It's really cool. And if you go down to World Debugger, this is another handy one. World Debugger it'll give you tips on your world it'll tell you what's wrong with your world sometimes it has an automatic fix so it's a real handy tool all right so we've got those two installed let's go install the third one import custom package we're going to do cyan mu all right same screen import all right so now we've got our scene here and our spawn points already there so we're going to hit the play button and i'll show you what happens see it's like you spawned into the world once you get to the screen hit close uh, close menu and you can walk around i'm pressing the w key on the keyboard and I can walk around in my world now if I had something else here I could interact with it I could pick it up uh, and so forth it's pretty neat so to get out of the player mode 
you would hit the escape button it'll bring up this screen again don't hit any of these buttons just go ahead and hit the play button again and you're back to your your scene view okay now to get the SAC flight system into your program say you want to build a flight world and you want to put the SAC flight system in there uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is unzip <clears throat> unzip the SAC flight package that we downloaded so we're going to go back to the folder where we save these packages in we're going to find SAC flight vehicle zip okay double click that and then it's it's going to extract that and it's going to come up with your unity package that you need to import so you've already got your unity program open so all you have to do on that file is just double click it and it'll start preparing the package and importing it into your project click on import and it'll import the SAC flight system into your 3d project that you're creating All right, so we've got the SAC flight system in our project now. And if you notice down here on the bottom left of your screen, it'll say Udon Sharp Compile Finished. That Udon Sharp program really helps with compiling your scripts and everything in your project fast. It's a really good tool. So now that the SAC flight system is in here, you notice the tab again that I talked about. Go up here. And where it says rename layers click on that and what that does is rename the the uh, uh, VR chat in the SAC flight system had an issue a while back where layer 17 I believe was being used by VR chat and anyway you're supposed to um, it was it's been fixed and we've got the new update in here and everything's working good that's all you need to know but definitely click on that rename layers button and what it what it does is um, we haven't gone over this yet but over here in your project settings it will layers you have different layers for stuff that is on your plane your planes and in the sac flight system and VR chat and user layer 17 the walkthrough that you used to get in the plane and everything it was being used by VR chat um, for something and there was a conflict but it's all been fixed now so you don't have to worry about that but do remember to click that rename layers just in case you know click it um, after you get the sac flight system in all right and that is it for this video this video is about packages and the next one we're going to dive into more meat of the project meat of the uh, project uh, so to speak and we'll talk about uh, terrain and, and get into more uh, specific stuff in unity how to do this and that so, so stay tuned for the next videos on unity thanks everyone see you